hi guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome today we are doing my apartment tour finally it took me forever and a day i actually moved into this apartment in new york last july so we're creeping up on a year and i wanted to make it as perfect for you guys as possible i am such a perfectionist i blame my capricorn moon and my scorpio sun for making me this way but i really wanted to have everything kind of where i wanted it i feel like you are never done decorating whether you're renting or you own own your own home there's always something that you're going to be switching around whether it's by the season or just like your taste changes but i'm finally happy with the way that things look and i wanted to share everything with you guys in case you don't hear me say where something's from just check the description bar because i'll have the links i'm filming this myself so i'm going to be taking you around my whole apartment and just sharing all the details with you guys sharing how i organize things and i am going to do an in-depth makeup collection video so that's going to be separate as well as an equipment video like what i use to film my youtube videos so look out for those two videos but today we're doing my apartment tour so without further ado let's go ahead and get into my new york one bedroom apartment tour So I'm standing at my doorway and when you first walk in you actually have a closet up here I just keep things that came with the apartment like extra tiles I also keep my boxes just in case for any warranties my equipment backpack and then just another book bag and yes I have a pink drill I know so this is the first closet and then when you actually walk into the apartment we have my dining table slash work table this table gets full of packages products just all types of things groceries so when I walk in this is just kind of like where I land and I put everything down on here I got a bunch of questions on these chairs I actually got them from Wayfair but they do have them on overstock and a couple of different websites even Amazon I used to have chairs that were all acrylic but I really love the wooden touch I like to keep things super simple minimalistic I don't like a lot of clutter and I don't like a lot of things out the vase and the faux eucalyptus are both from Target everyone thinks this is real it looks like dried eucalyptus and the candle is also from Target I wanted something functional but also aesthetic to hide my remote and I found this concrete box from CB2 it is very heavy but I love that it hides my remote perfectly so right here is the entryway and then I have this gorgeous pompous this pompous is real it's obviously just dried pompous and I just love 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 how it looks it gives the apartment such a peaceful vibe and it just looks really gorgeous the trick to have your pompous not shedding is to spray it with hairspray I just have it in this vase from Target Hi, I get a ton of questions on this mirror. It was a gift for my mom and it is from Wayfair. Normally I have a no shoes policy in my apartment, but I wanted to have shoes on for the video. I love having this basket here. The basket is from Home Goods and the throw is from Target. It just adds a cozy element to the apartment. And just chilling here, I have my baby. This is the Dyson V11 and I am obsessed. This vacuum is a game changer. I can never go back. So then I have another closet here. This one's quite big. And and I do have this automatic light that turns on that I got from Amazon. So here's where I keep my luggage and inside of these luggages are these smaller luggages that go with them. So to save some space, I just stored them inside of each other. On the floor, I have this basket from Target that I just keep any makeup that I'm going to be giving away. So all of my giveaways hang out here. I have my makeup artist chair, like a director's chair, a table. I have this really cute step stool because I am vertically challenged. I'm only five feet. Kind of just store, you know, this miscellaneous things like my printer it's worth it for the aesthetic of the apartment paper label maker pens and other supplies my makeup artist bag you know an extra duffel bag up on the shelf I have all of my extra I guess like decorations I just have like extra pieces I like to switch things out and kind of play around with things and then like a random Jenga this closet is insane it is so deep and it fits so much so to the right of this closet is my kitchen which is actually quite spacious for a New York City kitchen. I feel I have a lot of space. I have a ton of drawers and cupboards. It's so convenient to have the sensor automatic trash can, especially when my hands are full or dirty. I actually got this because of Natalie Munoz and it is just a magnetic key holder. Super cute. This is my intercom, which I pretty much only use for like Uber Eats and deliveries. So just to let people in. And then I have a wall plug-in with some extra outlets. I like to keep this space pretty clear because 
because this is where I cook or like where I prep things. So I just have a candle burning from Bath & Body Works. That's the rose one. My speaker, which I love from Bose. I always keep this box cutter here for safety, but also because I open up a ton of packages. I do have a dishwasher. It's not the newest, but it works. And I'm definitely blessed to have one, especially living in the Bronx and a one bedroom apartment. And it's an older apartment. I'm definitely lucky to have a dishwasher. I'm not gonna go too in depth, but here's where I keep my cups and my plates. I love, love, love anything glass. So I have wine glasses, mason jars, and I know I'm not the only one with solo cups, disposable cups, but I love that mine are black. So that's where I keep my cups and my plates. The marble cutting tray is from Bed Bath & Beyond. I have this soap dispensing sponge, which makes things so much easier, and just some hand soap and a sponge. And then above my sink is my pantry, I guess you can say, where I keep, you know, my seasonings. You gotta have the adobo. Even though I don't really use adobo, you just have to have it. As a Latina, it would be a crime if I didn't have my all-purpose seasonings But like I said, they're full because I really don't use them I put some oregano some red chili pepper flakes and some garlic in these little containers. I love pasta So I have quite a few sauce options and some spaghetti penne, you know pasta and some cans up there with my pancake mix Some sugar and you have to have some good paper plates. I live alone most times I don't want to bust out my dishes. I'm already cleaning when I'm cooking. So I love love of having like a strong good quality paper plate so that is that having a white stove definitely makes you clean right away because you'll see every single little spot I love eggs so I keep this little frying pan here just to make things easier and then above my stove slash oven I have some liquor I do like to enjoy a glass of wine I also have some Casamigos tequila my extra Nespresso pods a hand mixer and some Tupperware back there and an extra cutting board which is just a wood one I like apartment tours where they show you everything so I'm gonna show you everything just quickly under my sink I keep my brush cleaning supplies my oils rice and a strainer. This little plant, a lot of people think is real, but it is faux, and this one is also from Target. I keep this bag hung here for recycling. Any plastic glass goes in here, and I recycle every single day. And then I have this rice cooker, which is still in its box. I've never used it. I'm not sure if I wanna change it for an instant pot or an air fryer. I've cooked rice, like yellow rice, in a caldero, like in a pot, but I've never used a rice cooker. I don't know if I wanna keep it just for white rice. Let me know your thoughts. In this bowl, I currently just have lemons, limes, avocados, and a platano on the bottom I love anything and everything marble so of course my utensil holder is marble and this one is from Bed Bath & Beyond as well my newest obsession which is my Nespresso Virtuo Plus with the Arrochino so above this area I keep my snacks a lot of these snacks are for guests for example, this Entenmann's cake. I don't eat this, but I have it here just in case. These Barkton's though, favorite snack. I have some pots and pans up here. Because again, I like everything hidden and I didn't want to put them in my oven because I grew up with my pots and my pans in my oven. This is my medicine cabinet, which I know is pretty full. I like to keep my vitamins in this Lazy Susan. It makes it super easy to grab them. I love the Ollie brand. I've also been loving these Hum vitamins. I have extreme allergies, so I have this little bag full of like ointments because I get flare-ups and eczema quite often. You know, just your average bubble boy things. I have a regular toaster. This applies to boil water, mixing bowls, ziplocs, foil. So I'll go through these drawers really quickly. This first one is my utensil drawer. I have some gold straws. Again, it's just me living here, so I don't have too many utensils. I actually have to invest in some good knives. I don't know which direction to go. Help a sister out. Some kitchen gadgets and some utensils. And the first one, the second one is kind of like my miscellaneous drawer. I just have some tape, batteries, lighter, Sharpies, my favorite gum, and just some random things in here. This third drawer houses my microfiber cloths, a kitchen mitt. I love this little mini dustpan to wipe crumbs off of your countertop. This last drawer is probably my favorite, and it is my Nespresso pods. So for now I'm keeping a bunch of Nespresso pods in here until I figure out what kind of storage system I want. I do have a laundry room on the first floor of my building which is really nice. So I have some detergents, fabric softeners, a ton of paper towels, I call it bounty, some extra mop heads, magic erasers, gloves, my garbage bags, and toilet paper. I have my reusable totes 
by the door. So this used to hold plastic bags, but we don't do that anymore. But I still have the holder there. This area has to be one of my favorites because it holds all of my cleaning supplies. So I love Lazy Susans. So I have four of them for my cleaning supplies. So I have my organic, more natural cleaning supplies here. My more heavy duty, extreme cleaning. Back there, just kind of like extra bottles. Any type of task. If you have a stain, I got it. Cleanliness is next to godliness. And I just love a clean home, a clean space. 9 out of 10 times my apartment smells like this Caldrea Rosewater Driftwood Spray So I also have it in the countertop spray I love Caldrea and I love Grove for my natural more organic cleaning supplies And yes, I've accumulated these items throughout the year being here I didn't just like hoard it all at once when this pandemic started I've had all of these cleaning supplies before Which I'm grateful for because a lot of things are sold out So that is my cleaning area so Even though I like everything white and I like everything very simple i do have three magnets i have this little one from puerto rico i have my face on my fridge benefit actually sent this magnet and this little plant that i got from target i love when people show what they have in their fridge and their apartment tour so i'll quickly show you what i have water eggs yogurt juice oat milk veggie meat butter a ton of creamers because clearly I can't just have one creamer. I have to have five creamers. Your girl likes options, but I have to say my favorite has to be this vanilla one from Natural Bliss. So good, and it's non-dairy. Always stocked with sparkling water as well as Red Bulls, which I know is a horrible, horrible thing to drink. But I'm just keeping it real. Y'all know the deal. My freezer is quite boring, but I have two ice cube trays, some drinks, some frozen sofrito that I made. From scratch if you haven't tried these egos you're missing out some mochi ice cream vegan ice cream some veggie bacon and some veggie sausage patties they're not actual meat so that is my fridge and my freezer right outside the kitchen i have this cute little bench from target which i keep my daily purse on this is also where i charge my dyson i'm so obsessed with this portion of my living room so i have my couch which is the toby from interior define i get a ton of questions on this artwork which is from decenio i always keep a candle over here this one is from bear collections love the black with the wood i have a lot of white black and like neutrals in my apartment the plant and this little like straw decor piece is from Target. I'm gonna be saying I love a lot but I truly 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 do love this rug. I love that it's a neutral color and I love that it has some texture but it's not too loud. It just gives this area some character. I feel like this rug pairs perfectly with my couch. Like they're both neutral but the rug is brighter so I just feel like it complements my couch really well and it kind of matches my decor pillows which are from Target. The ones in the back are from JCPenney. I've had friends fall asleep on this couch so it is comfortable but what I love about this couch is that it is deep the seats themselves are really deep and wide which is really really comfortable like your whole body can fit I call this a productive couch because you get to work on the back of the couch so you can actually rest your computer there and it's like the perfect height having a good couch is so important and I'm so happy with my choice right in front of the couch I have my TV this is a Samsung TV it is a 65 inch I don't watch much TV I don't watch much Netflix but I like having the option here especially for entertaining guests, you can put like music videos on there, you could put YouTube. So I do like having a TV, but if you know me, you know I was quite opposed to having like TVs in my space because frankly, I just don't watch too much. But have the TV here mounted with, of course, the cable hidden. This living room space is quite large, so I actually split it between having my living room space and my workspace. So if you walk into my living room space, you'll see my vanity. I used to have this desk in this space but i just felt like it looked too linear like when you walked into my apartment it was just tables all against the wall and i feel like i need something maybe round here i don't know yet having my filming setup in place helps tremendously because filming doesn't have to be such a tedious task i don't have to take my table out and move all my lights so for right now my filming setup is just set up in the middle of my living room it works for me this is my full-time job ideally i would have a two bedroom where i would have all of this stuff in another separate bedroom but i am making my space work so over here I have this little cube system these baskets are from the container store I like having everything away hidden having a little home so this first basket has all of my Dyson attachments it does come with quite a few this basket actually hides my Wi-Fi so my modem and my router as well as an extension cord I get a ton of questions on this space so the floating shelves actually came with the apartment which was really cool so really I just had to figure out how to decorate them so I just have this Tom Ford book another little marble 
marble tray, a diffuser, room spray, and some matches. I have my dried up white roses here. In these storage bins, I have my frequently used sneakers, like the ones that I use on a daily basis. So my Nikes up here. In the bottom one, I just keep some slides and some slippers. This one has my Yeezys and down here, some more Nikes, Converse, and some Vans. I can just choose a shoe and I'm out the door. So I love having my sneakers readily available. This diffuser uses really cool technology where it doesn't use any water or any heat. So you get pure scent and it looks really cool. It doesn't really look like a diffuser. And this one, I just have some lonely Ugg slippers. And then I actually hide my cables for my lights in here so that they're not just all out and driving me crazy. So I really love this storage system for me. It works. They're from Wayfair. Ikea does make a shoe system similar, but it's a lot smaller. I have not one, not two, but three candles on these shelves, but I just love these neutral pieces. I'm constantly switching this up and trying to perfect these shelves. Frame and artwork also from Desenio, this really pretty marble vase, and my YouTube plaque, which I actually painted white. YouTube sends you this plaque when you hit 100,000 subscribers. The next one's at a million subscribers. You can get a similar plant to this one from Target, but mine is actually from Amazon. It is faux, and you can bend the leaves however you'd like. I actually had ordered a planter from World Market, which hasn't gotten here yet. The other planter is also white and gold. It's very similar to this one, but it just looks a little bit more modern and is smaller. This one is quite large, but it works for right now. I didn't want to hold out this video any longer, so I went ahead and got that one from Target. This lamp is also from Target, and I love how it's hollow with these shelves because you can put some decorative pieces there. So on this first shelf, I have these two diptyque candles and a crystal, which I got from Etsy. This picture of Coco and I, he was a lot younger in this photo, and that's when he had his hair fluffy. He's actually 14 now, and my baby actually lives in Florida. So I have this picture of us here, and it makes me so emotional to look at because he is the love of my life, and I miss him. Love this little corner, and my curtains are from West Elm, I believe. I love that modern boho look, so these are perfect, and they are really, really tall. This table I get a ton of questions on. It is from Wayfair. I did add this faux wood contact paper because this table actually got ruined with a hookah, so I just added the contact paper, and it is pretty much brand new. I love using this desk as my filming table because it has obviously drawers so I get to you know store some SD cards and some other things that I use to film. I keep all of my receipts in this filing folder. My MacBook that I use to film these are IKEA Alex drawers. This is one of my favorite drawers along with this one. I love having everything very organized. It helps me actually use what I have. I did add this marble contact paper from Amazon on here just because they were kind of scratched up and this just kind of like spruce it up and kind of made them look brand new again. I have my setting sprays. I have all of my skincare in the drawers, but I do keep my toner up here and just like some daily things. A light up mirror to do my skincare and my beauty blenders in this container. I like to keep my flat iron here with a lint roller. I still have to organize this one, but I have a ton of cables in there. I actually store my sunglasses in one of my drawers. I do have quite a lot of makeup out on top of my table, which just makes my life so much easier when getting ready. I like having my personal daily makeup on my countertop and then a lot of the makeup in the drawers are for my clients. The vanity mirror with the lights is from Impressions Vanity. I use this white chair to get ready. So I do my makeup sitting here, but I also use it to film. Walking this way, I have my bathroom and then I have another closet here. So this apartment actually has five closets. Insane, I know. So as a beauty slash lifestyle blogger, I get a ton of product in the mail. So it's important for me to have a ton of storage space. I donate a ton and I give away a ton, but I do like to keep what I love and just like new items to try out. And here I have a ton of bath products, my shampoos, conditioners, anything that has to do with hygiene. I keep it in here as well as my toothpaste, extra toothbrushes. This is also where I keep my hair products, sneaker cleaner. I mean, you name it, I have it. This is where I store my candles as well as my home fragrances, extra soaps. I keep my styling tools here, you know, blow dryers, curling irons, all that good stuff. Water wipes because I'm allergic to normal wipes. A steamer. And for super easy access, I keep some working out clothes here. Extra towels, hats, shapewear, summer stuff. And finding a bathroom in New York that is not pink or outdated in an older building is actually really difficult. So my bathroom isn't the biggest, but I just love that it's all white. I just have a gray bath mat, a white and gray towel. And here is my sink. I have a marble soap tray with a Lalabo soap on there. You guys were cracking me up on Instagram about my gold toothbrush and I use 
Aquafresh toothpaste. This mirror did come with the apartment as well as these glass shelves, which I just keep like daily things. Q-tips, a room spray, my cellar water, my deodorant, my lotion. Up here I have some Yves Saint Laurent oil and lotion, some poopery if you know, you know. My mouthwash, which I took the label off, just so it could be nice and pretty and white. This cute little faux leaf from Target. I have a super old school toilet with no tank, so it's literally just the flush. A cleaning wand from Clorox, a plunger, garbage can, toilet paper. Underneath the sink, I do have some storage, which in this little jar, I have my razors, my favorite spot treatment, which is sulfur. This is a piercing cleaner, some floss, cleansers, perfume, nail file. And down here, I just have my feminine products, some extra toilet paper so I don't have to run to the kitchen to refill it, some Lysol spray, some more cleaning products, scrubbers, and Epsom salt. The shower rod is obnoxiously high. It's literally almost at the ceiling. I have this little cute window and I love the all white tile. I'll quickly show you what's in my shower right now. I do have these two little built-in shelves which is awesome for me because I do like to keep quite a lot in my shower, clearly a lot of products. Face wash, feminine wash, exfoliating glove, a loofah, a dry brush. I don't really use Lemmy Soul anymore but you know, just in case. Shampoo, conditioner, body wash, razor, and my shower head which did come with the apartment. Behind the door I just have two hooks with two towels. Last but not least, we have my bedroom. This is the view when you first walk in, and like I mentioned before, I have five closets. So this is my fourth closet, which is actually like a coat closet. I just keep two robes in here, some jackets, and my coats. Up on the shelves, I have a summer bag filled with other little small summer bags and like pouches. In this little tote, I keep any like makeup bags. These are my bags for traveling, you know, for my toiletries. Down here, I keep some heels. I actually got rid of a ton of my heels, so I do have to purchase some new ones. I just have like some booties, my Balenciagas, my Uggs, some slides, just like extra shoes that I don't really use on a daily but I don't want to get rid of. So that is that. When you first walk in, straight to the left is my dresser. This is from Bed Bath & Beyond. I changed all of my knobs to these black ones from Target just so that they match. It kind of gave this dresser a more modern feel. This is the same tray that I have on my dining table and I have a ton of perfumes. I'm actually working on working through whichever are kind of finishing just so that I can make room for new ones and so I can continue to talk about perfumes to you guys. I do have a perfume collection video and I really haven't gotten new perfumes, maybe like one or two, but for the most part I have the same ones and I'm just kind of working through them. Can you tell that I love nude and black bras? I have my undergarments, colorful sweatpants, and pants. This drawer has my pajamas, which is the fullest. I'm always in some kind of comfy clothes. I have this Umbra jewelry stand. I love gold jewelry. So I just have my daily pieces here, some hoops, necklaces, studs, rings, and an extra nose ring. It was actually really hard for me to find a white hamper that I like. So I got this one, I believe from Wayfair, but they also have it, I think, at Home Depot. This apartment only came with one air conditioner, which is the one that's in my living room. So I did add this one just because it does get really hot and humid. So this is the last closet. So this is where I keep most of my clothes. I recently did a purge. I love having matching hangers and I love anything animal print. I love wearing black, white, neutrals, but I do have some like pops of color. But for the most part, you can catch me in black. I like to constantly go through my clothes and see what I'm not using and I love to donate the clothes. Sometimes I sell my clothes on Poshmark, but nine times out of ten, I am donating the clothes. This closet holds a ton. I used to have an air mattress up here, but it wasn't the best quality. I just like used it when I moved in and I didn't have a bed, but I also just have like a random hat, scarf, and gloves there, and some dampered. So that is my closet. If you follow me on Instagram, you know the struggle to find the perfect bedside table lamp. But for right now, this is what I'm working with. So I have two matching nightstands. They are both from Wayfair again I changed the knob so that they can match the dresser just to give it like a clean look I have these two coffee table books a Dior and a Chanel book as well as this Jo Malone candle I'm always curious to see what people have in their nightstands I have this Laura Mercier bag that just has like extra jewelry that is like bright and colorful or just like too chunky or just can't fit on the 
the stand. A ton of lip products, lash serum, my remote control, and the controller to the AC. I should probably take out some of the stuff from this jar and put it in the next one, which is empty, but I just love how easy access this one is. The two sleeping pillows, they're from Amazon. I am obsessed with these. I've talked about them before. The pillows inside of here are actually like sleeping pillows, but I use them kind of more for like decor. I do want to find a white pillowcase with like a black trim or like a gray trim, but for now I have this really fuzzy pillowcase on them, which came with a set from Target, but it was like a comforter set, so I just kept it there for now. So the entire frame for the bed as well as the headboard are from Wayfair. I do want to add a print above my bed. I found the perfect one from Minted, but I still haven't ordered it yet, so right now it's just really, really simple. I love a white bedspread. It just makes the room feel so peaceful and airy and clean. Again, I don't really like to have too much out. It's literally just like my TV here. This is actually an air purifier, so it's from Bed Bath & Beyond. It is quite loud, but I love having this to purify the air. It helps with dust and just like my allergies. And it actually has like a UV mode, which is supposed to help with like germs. I have this oversized arched lamp, which is from Poly & Bark. I just have some white curtains. These are actually from Amazon and they're really, really great quality with a black curtain rod. I wanted to add a little bit of black to this room. It used to be more of like a neutral tone. I used to have a pink bench, but for right now I'm digging like the white, black, and green vibe. So this black bench is from Wayfair. These two pillows are from Tarjay. I absolutely love this plant. I have it in this like aluminum slash like metal planter from Ikea. And then right next to it, I have my bookshelf where I just keep three purses. I'm very simple and I don't really have too much. I used to collect everything, like collect purses, collect shoes. And right now I'm just kind of working on trying to be a little more minimalistic and just simpler. So I just have a nude Gucci bag, my black belt, my favorite St. Laurent bag, and my Celine. This shelf holds my sweatpants, leggings, and some jeans. And the last one is actually empty. I don't really know what to do with the space, but for now I think it just looks okay empty. Like it's okay to have empty spaces. And then I have the matching nightstand. I really like for things to look even. So I have a, another of the same lamp here. And then I have this diffuser, which is from Vitruvi. I'm currently diffusing a Santal oil, which I talked about in my Amazon video. Not much going on in these drawers. The first one just holds my oils just for easier access to put into my diffuser. And then this one is actually empty. So that's my bedroom. I like to keep it peaceful, clean, and serene. This is where the magic happens, AKA my eight hours of sleep, living room space, workspace, and my dining area. So that completes my apartment tour. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being patient with me. I'll have as many links as I possibly can in the description bar. I'm also gonna be doing a Q&A on like New York City apartments, pricing, how I got this apartment. This is actually a co-op. I'll talk about that process and I'll just answer some questions. Since this is my first apartment alone in New York, I want to just like talk about it because when I was searching, I felt like I needed more resources. I've worked really hard to get to where I'm at and I'm very blessed to have what I have. I'm so happy to have a roof over my head. This space is definitely my safe space so I took my time decorating it and I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing it. So that completes this video. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!